Hi. In today's class, let's see some concepts that deviate from the Mendelian principles. So, in the previous uh, sessions, we have completed the Mendel's experiments, the laws framed by him, and went into, went into details about certain questions that can be asked for the CBSC board examination. So, uh, those who have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it so that you can have a recap of, uh, you can go through the details of actually what is Mendelian genetics, uh, his experiments and also uh, the expected questions based on uh, Mendel's uh, experiments. It's as told in today's uh, video, let us see certain concepts that deviates from the laws of inheritance framed by Gregor Mendel. Okay, so we are going to deal with the deviations of laws of inheritance framed by Gregor Mendel. So this concept came into, uh, into the frame when the Mendel's experiments were carried out by in different different plants. That is, Mendel's experiments were carried out in the same steps but the plant, pea plant was replaced by some other plant. So when the pea plant was replaced by other plants, some of the plants showed the same pattern of Mendelian inheritance but some plants deviated from the, uh, the principles framed by Mendel. Let's have a look into those different aspects or those deviations from Mendel's principles. So to explain to you those deviations, let me take an example of the plant which in which when the Mendel's experiment was carried out, it gave a different result. Okay, so that plant is commonly called as snapdragon. It is commonly called as snapdragon. This plant has red color flowers and also white color flowers. Red color flowers and also white color flowers. Okay. So this is the, so here in the plant snapdragon, flower color was taken as the trait. Only flower color, that is only one character was taken into account. So here in snapdragon, monohybrid cross is conducted by taking the character or trait flower color. So naturally parents will be true breeding red flower colored plant. So white flower colored plant, small r, small r. So from here, you would think that I have written capital R, capital R for red. So red will be dominant and white will be recessive. Okay. But then when these were crossed, alleles are separated and when these were crossed, in the F1 progeny, the plants that was uh, coming in the F1 progeny were neither red nor white, but they were all pink in color. So this was astonishing because this deviated from the Mendelian principle. The Mendel, in the, according to the Mendelian principle or Mendel's law, when two, two true breeding parents are crossed, taking one character into account, among these two, one form will appear in the F1 generation. I hope you remember in my previous videos, I had taken the example of tall plant and dwarf plant when crossed. In the F1 generation, we got all tall. So one of the parental form appeared in, according to the Mendel's principle. But look here, in this particular plant snapdragon, neither red is coming nor white is coming. But which color is coming here? Pink color is coming here. So now next procedure according to that Mendel's experiment was self-crossing of F1. Isn't it? Self-crossing of F1 is done. So F1 is this one. So next step is self-crossing of F1. 
Here, when F1 was self-crossed, alleles got separated first, capital R, small r got separated and capital R, capital R, capital R, small r, small r, capital R, small r, small r. So, after this experiment, when F1 was self-crossed, they got red color, two pink colored, one red color, two pink color and one white color plants. So, this ratio deviated from the Mendel's F1 or uh, Mendel's Mono hybrid cross ratio 3 is to 1. Mendel got 3 is to 1 in the F2 generation. But here we are getting 1 is to 2 is to 1 phenotypic ratio in the F2 generation. So this plant, through this example, I think it is clear to you that this plant is showing deviation from Mendelian principle. How it is deviating from Mendelian principle? See, we have taken two true breeding parents. In the F1, we are getting neither of the parents. A, a, new, a, new, a, new, a new color has come out, pink. When this is self-crossed, you are getting both the parental form as well as the new form in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, this ratio of Mendel is not satisfied here, but the new phenotypic ratio we are getting 1 is to 2 is to 1. And what about the genotypic ratio? See, homozygous, heterozygous, homozygous. So, phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio, they are same here. So, from this area, one question can be asked, like explain a cross in which you get both phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio same. So, at that time, you should, this example of snapdragon should come to your mind. So in this example, we have seen that both phenotypic and genotypic ratios are same. In order to understand what is the phenotypic ratio, genotypic ratio and all, I have already explained in the previous videos and also the questions were framed based on that. If you can subscribe my channel, you will get it. And also uh, more videos that I add on to this, that also you will get it. So don't miss those videos and, uh, and do subscribe the channel. Anyways... So here so we have come to the point that snapdragon gives an example of deviation from Mendel's principle and how does it deviate? Here both phenotypic and genotypic ratios of the F2 generation is same. Now this we have to give a name for this kind of inheritance, isn't it? This is not a dominant inheritance, this is not a recessive inheritance but then what kind of inheritance is this? We have to give a name for this and this type of inheritance shown by snapdragon is called as incomplete dominance. I think it is clear. It is termed as incomplete dominance. So we have learned one concept, one deviation from Mendel's principle that is Incomplete dominance shown by snapdragon in which the phenotypic and the genotypic ratios appear same and they deviate from the Mendelian ratio of 3 is to 1. Now next question is why this deviation? Why this deviation happens? Okay, regarding that the answer for why incomplete dominance will be dealt with in the next video after I explain to you what is the reason behind dominance. So thank you for now.